Hello lads and ladies and welcome to this and welcome back for another video on the channel. Today it is Accrington Stanley away. Who are they exactly? Now again this got a little bit heated last year. They beat us 5-1 at the Wham. Now obviously their owner came out at Fleetwood fans for what they did. Now I'm not agreeing with that but ever since then it's been a little bit bit hostile between the two sides. That should add to the game today. We beat them 3-0 earlier on this season. Probably one of our best performances of the season. So we will be hoping for more of that today. They're in the bottom four. They need results. It's like the Rolls Reserve of last year. We're mid-table, comfortable. They're scrapping for every point they can get because they're in a relegation battle. And they really need League One safety to help be self-sustainable. So it could be a big game for them. For us, we've got five games left and it's a big game for all the other teams because we play these Forest Green Rovers could still need a result on Tuesday. We could send them down if they don't win today. Then we've got MK Don's relegation battle. So and then we've got Bolton coming up. We've got Ipswich as well in there. So it's a huge month against teams that are fighting. But I'm looking forward to it. We've got five games left. Let's end the season on a high because the last few results haven't been up to standard. Now, thanks so much for the support on the last few videos. The likes, the subscribers uh, have all been rising, so thank you so much. We're going to set a really tough like goal today. Can we smash 250 likes? So please like, subscribe, hit notifications on. We're off to Accrington on an early train. Looking forward to this. And... You always want to beat the sides that are local to you. Yeah? You always want to do well. And the last few weeks, we've not been at the level since we've hit 50 points. I don't know what that is. But today, I have a feeling we're going to win 1-0. Tight, tight game. Probably ahead from a corner. Deja vu of 2019. Le Bosch! Oh, Accrington away last year. 5-1. Got beat. Was pouring down. You know, wasn't a good day. But today, we're safe. They're not. You know, they've got a win, pressure's on them. So it's a totally different game to a year ago. Kind of, you know, they're us from last year. We're them, comfortable in mid table. You know, two sides that probably don't like each other. Um, I know their chairman doesn't get on with our chairman, but today, all I'm hoping for is a win. I think we'll go a back three, kind of similar to recent games. We've been playing either that or a 4 2 3 1. Um, Scott Brown hasn't been happy in the last two games. You know, he doesn't want to finish on 50 points, as you said. I want 60 points, really, um, and think we can get it. So, you know, top 12, 60 plus points, still on, available. And again, it's a local game. You want to win them. And the last few, kind of last few years away at local games, where we've took more than our usual 100, 200, you know, we haven't performed. Josh Bella came out with a smile on his face, get the chip on his shoulder. I like that personally. We've got nothing to play for. Let's ruin someone else's seat, and that's how I see it. You know, we want to win as many games as possible. You know, these specials last season, I want revenge. But again, John Coleman is a good manager, they've got a good side here. You know, what, whatever you say about Mandy Holt's got a good football club here, it's gonna be a tough game. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> well, what a start. I think it's Jaden Stockley. Promise. We were do all in the mix in that move, kind of from start to finish. Again, defending was sloppy from them. That's what they pride themselves on the last few years in League One. Good defending. You know, don't concede many goals, especially at home. That's comical. That's why, that's why they, you know, getting in the bottom four for a reason. Uh, again, James Stockley should be finishing that.
did I say about comical defending it? Honestly, you're in the bottom four for a reason. Accrington, you know, are able to bring that in players like Marriott and Stocker like we are. You know, they're out the ones there, football, but very difficult to and the feeling is I'm not, you know, dismissing me, they've done very well. But again, it's poor defending, Marriott puts it away. It's a mistake from them, but a good finish by Jack Marriott. 1-0 to the Cods. We're playing good stuff, they're very physical, very kind of head it out the box, clear our lines, get it up the pit. Which you expect from Michael That's how they're built, they, you know, they do it very well. We play to the strength. We just got to get around because at one nil at Accrington, the game's never killed, and that's why they're in League One. Two nil. Yeah. I just flicked to our own now. At the end of that scene, you can see him going like that, calm, composed. Above in that screen is Andy Holt, not very happy. Marriott, cool, composed. That's the difference between the two small clubs. We've got the investment to get two quality strikers in Marriott and Stockley. It's 2 0 to the Cubs. Look, I don't think we've been great today. I don't think we've been great all season. But we're just better than seven or eight clubs with the players we've got in the building. And we've got quality now at that other end to score goals and Jack Murray is coming alive. The Lord of the Phoenix, worldwide famous Phoenix. Hit it, Bella. Ooh. Playing well now. Confidence. Second goal's killed their confidence. Enhanced powers. Only one team in this game now. We've got a free kick just outside the box again. They're causing a few problems, but again, pretty routine. You know, we can cause them, and you know they're effective what they do, but it's just got less effective as years gone by. With kind of with Accrington family, it's a weird one, but. Again, we've got a chance at 3 0 here. Yeah! Yeah! Well, I think that's their eighth red card of the season. Something bizarre like that in Skybet League One. You've had a lot when you think about it. Um, you know, one against Plymouth just recently as well. I think they got to like you know, five or six in 11 games. Then the combo got sent off um, against Bolton, I think it was in the you know, Pat John Trophy semi final. That is what's going to get them relegated. Simple as that. Good half. Two no up, got an excellent man. You know, we're comfortable, but pretty clean. We're never so simple. You know, I want to see him play a bit more, you know, better Scoring the goal, just got like he hasn't got his hat trick. It's 3-0 against him there. That's game set and match. We've got to keep our foot on the pink and the paces now. I want five. Well, deserve a last year, playing well. Sun's out, 3-0 up. Here this time last year we were and they've got a man sent off. This time last year, we were 4-1 down at kind of this point. You know, in kind of Awful conditions with 10 men for Fleetwood. I think it was Dan Batty who got sent off. There we go. Then the relegation battle in mid table. Oh. It's 3 1, and again, 
I think it's Mitch Clark who struck it. He said Nottingham scored. It's an own goal, really. He's gone into the top corner. The 3-1, they've got men last. Uh, sorry, man less, sorry. And they've got nothing to lose. You know, they're going to throw things at it. It's a good hit by Mitch Clark. He's a good player. 3-1, all to play for. Tonight. They don't give up, they kind of keep hounding you, keep pestering you, keep knocking at the door. They're fighters, and this is why you can never write them off. In a relegation battle, 3 1 down with 10 men, still fighting. I'll give them that. Well, I don't get nervous, but it's 3 0 down, they had nothing to lose. And it's 3 2 now. Tommy Lee, brilliant finish into the corner. At least he picked the side netting. I said he never, you know, kind of went down without a fight. And they're still going. The fans are still singing. And still, 10 minutes. location of different time settings. If you would like to know the time, it's five past actually. It's just mad. 3-2 at 88 minutes. I thought they were going to score at 3-3 three, three and same happened last year. players and that's what Sam threw in the end because the fight for them you know with, 10, with 11 men you never know but again I'm proud of that performance you know Phoenix getting a goal and buzzing for him he's been brilliant since coming to the football club Marriott getting a hat trick and just about got man of the match thanks very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe until next time I will see you later up the cards